Royal Hall explodes with booze here. Follows Medicos and Fred Eyes. Oh, man, whoa, what the hell? Oh, my Lord, it looks like it's it, he's back. He's back as the original dose. Oh, my Lord, they mean business tonight. This guy was completely suspended for attacking fans. I mean, I, I think that's him. There, there's nobody like this guy. He's like a monolith. He barely moves. It doesn't do anything. Look, he's still up there. He's finally moving on the stage. We're back in old school style here. Original Medicals lineup and Fred Eye going to be taking on Chikara Originals. It's taboo. Is it taboo to say Chikara? Chikara Originals here. The Batiri in the house and Murloc and Toe going to be one hell of an opening match here at Boom Shakalucha. Usually I try to cut away to something like a backstage promo or whatnot. These guys take forever to get into the ring. But uh, the booze, basking in the booze is almost worth it. This crowd is hot. They're ready to go. The show's starting. They got all that energy and they're putting it into the booze here for the Medicos. There's Uno up on the top rope. Wow, Dose, the original Dose. This huge refrigerator of a man, a beast. A, I don't know, but look, he's looking at the fans. You better watch it. He's gonna start attacking fans again. You go back to our archives, this guy's constantly throwing fists with fans. And I, I, even at like our expo shows, like Tequila Expo, there's a lot of drunk fans there. This guy does not give a shit. Attacking some, some guys here at Parkdale Hall many times. We have not seen him for a while. At least half a year to a year. That's gotta be him. The big splash off the top rope, that big spinning back heel kick he does off the second. This guy is a beast. And look at Zoknov just standing there. The presence of the Medicos, something else. booking we had with them and Murloc returning. Oh wow, look, a whole new look for Murdoch. Murloc, new gear. Wow, he's looking impressive. And the Batiri, they may be small in size, Chris. Small in size, but big in power. The Batiri debuting at the main lucha. The Batiri, one of the most dominant tag teams in Shakara Pro Wrestling history. They've literally been and traveled all over and they've appeared in Impact Wrestling AEW in the past year. And Murloc is making his return to demand Lucha while he brought some backup here against Los Medicos and Fred I. Wow, it is deafening in here. And the music's bloody loud too. Maybe that's the key. Turn up the music loud and the fans have to scream loud for all you bookers out there and promoters. It's that's a the hot key. summer night here. The Parkdale Hall absolutely jam-packed already. Oh, I'm joking. They're popping for the Batiri. That's what they're popping for, buddy. Absolutely. And they're in top physical condition, Hutch Henry's. Look at them. They've come back to pro wrestling with a vengeance. The Batiri. Yeah, I've been following them for years. And one thing that you definitely notice is the conditioning here of the Batiri. They are absolutely jacked and shredded. Well, the interesting thing about the Batiri and Murloc, they've been on opposite sides. They've been on the same sides. But Fred I and Los Medicos, under the tutelage of El Dog Dorzok Knopf, they've been quite a cohesive unit in the years here at Demand Lucha Hutch Henrys. Well, yeah, I mean, there's been some problems with Fred I and Doc Zock lately. Obviously, Fred I seems to be the only one of his crew that's not like a willing participant. Some kind of brainwashing going on here. But, uh, Obviously here in this triple threat or this uh, six man tag, they've been smoothing it out. I've been seeing cohesiveness lately back here with uh, Doc Zock's sickness. Not just Fred Eye, they try to end the careers of beautiful Bia Moss, Space Monkey, and the list goes on and on here. Opposite sides here for the tag teams too that, than the, what we usually have as far as the, the corners that they're in. But am I wrong? Is this the, the original dose? 
after being suspended for like a year for attacking fans. That's him under that mask. I mean, look at the size, the shape of him. The original dose and the new number two, it looks like. What an interesting combination here tonight. Is that what you think? I, I thought, no, this is the original. This is Uno and Dose. It's the originals, right? Well, you never know who you're going to get here from Aldok Dorzok Nov. Many, many medicals. Oh. And it's face to face for Fred Eye. Yeah, Fred Eye, oh, there we go, cane chop. Fred Eye might not be jacked like the Materi and shredded, but he is one tough SOB, perhaps pound for pound, one of the toughest guys in the locker room. And you heard that one, Chris, and a second time. Backs Fred Eye up into the corner. It's usually Fred Eye who chops guys in the corner, although it's been a long time since we've seen the re -will, We Will Rock You Queen Chops. There's that great conditioning and agility you'd mentioned, Hutch Henry's from Materi, but Fred Eye catches him in midair. Yeah, very strong as well, not just tough. Fred Eye belies his look for how absolutely strong he is. Rolled him up into the crucifix now on Fred Eye. Scarlet, the official, great positioning here, Hutch Henry's. Look at the, the look of shock on Fred Eye's face. There we go, the fans finally. The Batiri deserve an ovation here. Usually it's the mind games and the unpredictability of Los Medicos and El Doctor, but when you're in the team there with La Batiri, certainly you don't know what to expect. Kodama getting the tag there from Oberian. First time he's seeing action in this match. And these guys have been off the scene, like we said, for a long time. But look at the condition of Kodama and his cool looking beard. I'm wondering if Zoc and the Medicos have even looked at any of the old footage of these guys. I feel like they're off their mark. Leapfrog, go behind, great reversal here. Back and forth action at any moment. Wow. Beautifully executed, spins those medicals for a ride here at Parkdale Hall. Hits the canvas. Ah. Picture perfect drop kick, beautifully executed, Hutch Henry's. Fans reacting to that pretty well, Chris. Size difference has not been coming into play here at all so far in this match. That's something that Bateri has had to overcome their entire careers. But you know, I, oh, there we go. You know, I mentioned these guys are Chikara trained, Chikara factory, Ophidian, longtime premier champion, used to almost put the size differential between his opponents and him to his own advantage. The bigger his opponent, almost the more he would kick the shit out of them. I think the Batiri in the same category here, they're used to fighting bigger guys, and they not only basically make that advantage moot, they actually use it to their advantage. And it's been a great game plan from the Batiri so far. They've kept Murloc, the big man, isolated. And they tried to focus there on the attack on the new number two here. Reversal now. Tag out. Bro, this is definitely Uno. I don't know what you're talking about. It's Uno and Dos. Double stomp. I did, he was twitching before. Look, he's got the vein on his forearm. It's Uno. How do you know it's not the Mega Medico? You don't know who's under those masks. Whatever, we're not gonna have two twos in the match. It's like, like a double dose, double dose, double dose of Medicos. Screw that, Uno and Dose, let's keep it straight. And speaking of which, man, it has been a long time since we've seen this guy. I, I mean, as far as I know, unless they got another huge, fat, slow-moving guy. And you say this is the original number two, the biggest and baddest member of Los Medicos who's been away from the ring for some time, and some people might speculate that's why they lost those tag team titles, Hutch Henry's. You make a very good point there, Chris. But speaking of point, look who number two is pointing at, Murloc getting in the ring officially here, and the two big men, the crowd whistling and hooting, they're looking forward to this. Murloc in his return has been a dominant force in the tri-state area. Oh, he's always ready to make his return to Toronto, Hutch Henry's. Yeah, man, a new gear, new mask, looking great. Very shiny. I'm not gonna talk about gear. Uh, I think last show I talked about gear a lot. Shoulder block didn't phase the big man, or the bigger of the two here. And the Medico number two tries to return the favor. And neither man wants to give an inch here. Hard to gain an advantage with competitors the size of both these men. And they collide again. Refusing to budge now, <laughs> Hush and Reese. Uh, something's got to give, even if they just get tired. El Doctor trying to encourage his men. There we go. But both men still standing. 
Oh, I thought like a flare bump. Maybe they should try hitting the ropes. Hit the ropes. Get that momentum. Oh, headbutts. Center. There we go, Murloc. Ow! <laughs> Medico 2 catching him oh, in mid motion. Man. And Murloc now returning the favor. Talk about evenly matched opponents. And finally, the big man down. Took him down to the Toronto crowd, going crazy here. Murloc going after him, but Freda, oh, Freda, I don't know if that was an official tag, but Scarlett, she's giving him crap, but does not appear that she's trying to shoo him out of the ring. Triple jump back elbow, some classic action there for Freda, and here comes the Batiri looking at Lucha Libre style Roos here. That does make sense, that is traditionally how we do the triple, the six mans. That's right, trio's action, one man in, one man out. Ducks under now. Red Eye throws him out of position. Oh. And this is right back where Freddy started the match in the corner, getting shocked by the Batiri. Wow, pulling the hair and behind the ref's back. Referee Scarlett didn't see it. And now Los Medicos, that unit here, trying to cut the ring in half and keep the Batiri on their side. Back, turn him around. This is definitely Uno. He does the knee to the back. Bouncing right off the second rope, back to a standing position, and now just getting booted in the corner, choked out. Tag once again to Dos. And once again, without the referee seeing an L Doctor holding on to the hair. I didn't even see that, although I am not at all surprised. Trying to chop the big man down, tries to get to the tag. Now takes his head off. Medico number two, just too big, able to run right through him. Packed house here at Parkdale Hall. They are extremely loud. Quickly becoming a summer tradition here for Demand Lucha. Oh, my oh, lord! Oh, 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 oh. And the whole ring shook here at Parkdale Hall. Took too long for the pin. Wow, it's like, I don't know if they're booing the Medico or they're booing the kick out. It's like a smattering of both. Well, there are a lot of deranged fans of their Hot Chatteries. I'm sure there's some people who like Los Medicos here. I'm sure, yeah. But probably just deranged people that like to see people get beat up. But I feel like you've got so much heat that they boo you through the kick out. The boos are that sustained. It might be true they hate Los Medicos so much. One of that historic long reign of the tag title. Oh, oh my lord. Man, talk about fighting back from underneath, even on his feet. Materi fighting out from underneath against the huge Medico. Power just too much from Medico numero dos. That's right. Maybe going for that elbow again here, Hutch and Reese. He's a sick man. Oh my lord! Went for the senton, but missed. Doc Sock, apoplectic on the outside, and here we go. Kodama rolling out of the way. Wham! Goes crashing and burning, and here we go. Attack to a barrier. Off the top. But he's still standing, Hutch Henry's. He's still standing. First time we've seen O'Barian since the beginning of the match. And look at all his pent up aggression. Oh! Uno down, Fred Eye down. Dos in the corner, hurting. Here we go. Oh no, he caught him. Caught him in midair, and this isn't going to be good for Batiri right here. Oh my oh. lord! And the ring steps down on top of his head after that. And you can see the grin on El Doctor's face. Oh, He's yes. quite pleased. 
He is very pleased. Right there by the banner for our new sponsor, Occupy Pro Wrestling. A great podcast. Check it out. No, it is not a company that we are not replacing our name. We are not Occupy Pro Wrestling. But they are an awesome, awesome podcast, awesome company. Check them out. Our new sponsor is here. And we might be getting some blood on that new apron soon enough. Oh. Wham! Classic Medicos. Wow, they've won matches with that, Chris. Absolutely devastating tag team combination. Flipped him into that power bomb. Maybe that is the original number one. I, I, I can't tell. Dude, I'm Hush telling you. We'll see if he goes up top. Dude, if they do that doomsday device with the spinning heel kick, you know, it, that's that's in the bag. It's got to be Uno. I was going to say, you might know it's the new number two if he goes for that moonsault off the top. So damaging, so menacing, Los Medicos. Sends him for the ride and runs wow. right through him. Well, this Batiri member, is, he's not fresh anymore. Medicos taking it to him. Wow, and just filling him, Chris. No technique there. Just unloading. Tag out to Fred Eye now. Fred Eye just swatting that kick away like it was nothing, and all over Oberian. That zombified version of Freddy. Gonna roll him over, roll him over, roll him over, give him the second one. I love this. Wham! Second time's the charm. Now he's gotta roll him over again to pin him, though. I, I still say he should do it the other way. Too close to the rose, able to kick out. And you don't wanna be in that corner. You don't wanna be over there by L Doctor. Oh, they've been doing their best to keep him over there, though. Pretty darn good job of it as well. Loads on Fred Eye, but able to cut him off, rake the eyes. Even if you are a demon, a goblin, you still feel the effect when somebody rakes your eyes, Hutch Henry's. Oh, screws up your paint, too. Oh! Plants on Fred Eye beautifully. This could be all over here. Yeah, that might have been one of the cleanest rocket ship DDTs I've ever seen. Perhaps we can get a clean unicorn salt or a zombie salt or whatever this is. Oh, no! Nobody home. The fans going crazy. Check it out here. Oh. Parkdale Hall, incredible action. Tag to Los Medicos. Tag out to Murloc. Murloc in the ring. The crowd loving it and taking it to Uno. Crowd absolutely electric here, Hutch Henry's. Murloc sends it for a ride, puts his head down. Critical mistake there. That's because he telegraphed it. Can't be sending messages, Chris. Scooped him up here. Slams him to the deep. Whoa. Oh, wow. World's strongest slam, so Mark Henry action almost put away the medicals. And look at the reaction for Dose coming in the ring. Big booze. Definitely a big close call there. Rip cords him around. Oh, oh, oh wow. That was clean and hard. He's still standing though, Hutch Henry's. Hoist him up. Look at the power. Incredible strike here. I thought he was gonna drop him for sure. Running! Oh! oh running Samoa drop! And Uno to the rescue. Able to make the save for his man. Things have broken down here. And the Batiri and Murloc are in present here. And the Medicos, they have not been doing very well here since they lost the tag team titles at Demand Lucha. I think the stigma. They're, they've got a stigma right now. they got to beat that stigma, and the Batiri are going to take advantage and probably take the win. Oh, look at this. Catches it. Flying Huracan Rana. Ah, big drop kick. Ah! Absolutely incredible ovation for the Batiri. But the oh, big man, man catches both of them. He didn't even punch. Wow, oh, Jesus Christ. 
sends both members flying to the wayside. And feeling the power. Better go, Dos. And we got the Lucha Chance. And Dos has no idea. You think you could smell some fish. Right behind him. All he has to do is turn around. Oh! oh. Charm! Wow, almost fell back on his partner. Oh, and Aldo oh, no, Tor holding on to the no. legs. Oh no! Dos! And Treza! Wham! Big Santon! It's the originals, Chris! Come on! In firm control, you can see the encouragement from Al Doctor as they roll Murloc over to their corner. Oh, they're pointing to something. Are they pointing outside the Fred Eye? They got a triple team in mind? Oh, no, no. Here we go. Bateri back on the ropes. Drop down and Los Medicos hard out to the floor here at Parkdale Hall. In stereo, they take flight. Double Tope Suicidas from the Bateri. Oh man, this could be it though. Fred Eyes got Murloc where he wants it. All the way up top. He doesn't usually miss twice. Oh! Wham! It's all over. What? Wow, Murloc was like not even a one count. Two count that time. That show of emotion breaking through on Fred Eye might have cost him here. You could see well, all that adrenaline. I'll get out before the one. El Doctor wants them to finish the job with that cane. Oh, it's obviously gonna take something like that. They don't care about losing this matchup. They're gonna risk the disqualification. They wanna add another. Oh, man, no. oh what is hey, this? Oh, Whoa. missing. Fred is it finally happening? It Fred Eye's had enough. He doesn't wanna win that way. Scoops him up. Oh, oh wow. Emerald Fusion style slam. Attached to their Lola chakras, they're like dragging around, they can't get rid of it, and they can't get a big win anymore. The sheen is the thrill is gone, Chris. Well, the power is gone. For so long, Los Medicos remained undefeated here at Demand Lucha, and now they're on the downturn, courtesy of Murloc and the Materi. They just sent a message to you, Hutch Henrys. Well, I've been wanting the Materi here management. for a long time. But hey, what else is going on? Fred I. And Fred I blocked against the doctor. He swam against the tide. He's breaking the rules. He, 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 I don't know if he's broken the spell, but I think I think the issues between Zogdok and Freddy that I perhaps thought were smoothed out are no longer smoothed out. What's going on here? 